I can't begin to tell you how excited I am for Ghost of Yote, the much-anticipated sequel to Ghost of Tsushima. Like so many others, I fell in love with Jin Sakai's journey on the original game, his struggles, his choices, and how the story completely drew me in. So when Sucker Punch Productions finally dropped details and that the stunning trailer for Ghost of Yote, it reignited all the excitement for me. It feels like we're on the brink of yet another epic adventure in a world that holds so much beauty, history, and emotion. Let me take a moment to unpack all of the incredible details that we know so far regarding Ghost of Yote, and why I think this game is shaping up to be truly special. I'm going to be completely honest here. When I first seen that Ghost of Yote will not feature Jin Sakai as the main protagonist, I had a lot of mixed feelings. Jin was such a compelling character, one of the most memorable in recent gaming history for me. His transition from a noble samurai to the infamous ghost was just that raw emotional experience. I became so invested in his journey, his personal conflicts, and his growth. So the idea of leaving Jin behind was tough to swallow at first. Part of me wondered how I could connect with another protagonist as deeply as I did with him. But after letting it sink in, I began to see the potential of this new direction. Ghost of Yote isn't about replacing Jin, it's about expanding the universe, introducing fresh perspectives, and exploring a new chapter in a world I've come to love. After seeing the trailer and getting to know more about Atsu, the new protagonist, my initial hesitation turned into genuine excitement. There's something thrilling about diving into a completely new story while still staying in this beautiful crafted world. So let's talk about Atsu, the new protagonist who will be leading us through the world of Ghost of Yote. Atsu is a female samurai or maybe a ronin, voiced by the immensely talented Erika Ishii, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm not butchering her name, who many may recognize from her role as Valkyrie in Apex Legends or from her work in Dimension 20. Atsu's story takes place over 300 years after Jin's era, which is a huge leap of time. This means that we're stepping into an entirely different period of Japanese history, and while Jin's legacy might not directly touch the story, the spirit of Ghost of Tsushima is alive and well. I'm particularly excited about the fresh perspective that Atsu brings to the table. Her journey seems to center around the themes of vengeance and survival. And the trailer hints at that is that her being haunted by Ronin Samurai, that dynamically alone sets the stage for a complex and emotional charged story. I've always admired how Sucker Punch developed layers, the multi-faced characters, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they shape Atsu's story. A female samurai protagonist opens up a world of new storytelling possibilities, and I'm eager to see how her story unfolds. One of the aspects I'm most excited about in Ghost of Yote is the change in setting. This time we're leaving behind a familiar island of Tsushima and heading north to Hokkaido, specifically around the magnificent Mount Yote. I think this shift is going to give the game a fresh feel, while still maintaining the atmosphere that made the original so captivating. The trailer shows us sprawling landscapes, dense forests, and towering snowy peaks. Sucker Punch has made it clear that they took the research trips to Hokkaido, and their attention to detail shines throughout in every frame of the trailer. I was particularly drawn to how beautifully they have created the geography of the area. It feels rich, alive, and full of possibilities. I can't wait to explore every inch of this new world, especially knowing how deeply immersive their environments were in the Ghost of Tsushima. And there's more to it than just beautiful scenery. Hokkaido, unlike Tsushima, wasn't fully colonized until the 1800s. This means that the culture and historical themes will be explored in the Ghost of Yuti will be distinct from what we have seen before. There's a chance to dive into the different part of Japanese history, and I'm intrigued to see how Sucker Punch handles this new era. The open world design in Ghost of Tsushima was one of my favorite aspects of the game. The sense of freedom, the ability to explore, discover hidden stories, and and engage in intense battles made it such a memorable experience. Thankfully, it looks like Ghost of Yotes is going to follow that similar formula, but even more to offer. 
The trailer showed Azzo riding on a horseback throughout the vast open landscapes, bustling towns and scenery fields. It feels like the world is going to be just as alive and rich with details as Tsushima. If not, perhaps even more. What excites me even more is that this Sucker Punch's first game built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5. That means that we can expect significant upgrades in the performance, visuals and gameplay. Imagine the immersion when you feel the wind throughout the haptic feedback or the tension of the sword clash resonating throughout the controller. I can already picture myself getting lost in this world for hours on end. Let's talk about the visuals for a second, because Ghost of Yote is shaping up to be a true next-gen showcase. Sucker Punch is building on a visual foundation that they created Ghost of Tsushima, but they are taking it to the next level. We've already seen some draw-dropping sights in the trailer, massive sightlines that let you see far across the landscapes, new skies filled with stars, and even more realistic movement up from the wind or on the grass and trees. It's clear that they're using every ounce of the PlayStation 5's power to create a world that feels alive and immersive. But it's not just about how the game looks. With a new setting comes new gameplay mechanics and new improvements. The trailer has already teased some of the fresh ideas, but Sucker Punch has promised even more surprises down the line. I'm especially curious to see how combat will evolve with Atsu. Will she have different techniques? And since we already know that she can wield two katanas at once and different varieties of weapons included, just how also be an improvement we will see in the stealth? How will there be differences in terms of the exploration? It's just these questions only add up to my anticipation, and I can't wait to see what Sucker Punch reveals in the upcoming months. One of the more intriguing moments in the trailer is when Atsu encounters a quite a massive wolf. At first it looked like a wolf is going to attack her, but then it just kind of, well, runs off, almost like it's chasing something unseen. This moment was fascinating to me because it felt, well, somewhat some symbolic, like the wolf is tied to Atsu's journey somehow. Could it be a companion or a guide? Or maybe even a reflection of her inner turmoil? I just don't know for sure, but I'm hoping that the wolf plays a significant role in the game. Let's be real, who wouldn't want a giant wolf as a companion during the epic samurai battles? If Sucker Punch gives us the ability to interact with to interact with and maybe even bond with this wolf throughout the game, I think it could add an emotional and dynamic layer to the story. Plus, if we get the pet to wolf, well, that's a bonus. Given the excitement surrounding Ghost of Yote, I would not be surprised if this becomes the Game of the Year contender in 2025. The success of Ghost of Tsushima has set the bar incredibly high, but everything that I've seen and heard about the sequel makes me believe that Sucker Punch will deliver. With a new protagonist, an incredible setting, enhanced visuals and gameplay, this could easily become one of the standout titles of the PlayStation 5 generation. Sadly, we'll just have to unfortunately wait till 2025 to get our hands on Ghost of Yote. It feels like a long way off, but honestly, I'm okay with that. I'm glad Sucker Punch is taking their time to perfect every detail. In the meantime, I'll be keeping a close eye on, on the new reveals and gameplay footages as we get closer to the release date. There's so much more to learn about Atsu's journey, the people, the animals that she'll meet along the way, and how her story will unfold. Ghost of Yote is shipping up to be everything I could have hoped for in a sequel, and even more. While I initially had mixed feelings about moving on from Jin Sakai, I've come to appreciate the new direction Sucker Punch is taking. Asus journey, the breathtaking setting of Hokkaido, and the promise of the new gameplay, mechanics, and emotional storytelling has me more excited more than ever. I can't, I just can't wait to deep dive into the world once again and see where this new chapter takes in the Ghosts universe. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys all and have a wonderful day.